If you're a beginner, you do not need to buy an expensive metal detector. Stick around and I'll explain. This is the MindLab Vanquish 340. With this machine, I have found artifacts that are now in museums. With this machine, I have found more bucket listers in a year and a half than some detectorists have found in 10 years. Why? Because I'm just this lucky guy? Nah. So there's this crazy idea that if you go out and buy an expensive metal detector, you're gonna find more gold, jewelry, and silver dollars than anyone else. Well, it just doesn't work that way. Metal detecting is a numbers game. Finding good locations helps too, but you just have to put in the work. This machine works, and it works well. And guess what? It finds just as much trash as the expensive metal detectors. As a beginner, buying an expensive metal detector makes about as much sense as going out and buying an expensive guitar with the expectation that you're just gonna be a phenomenal guitar player overnight. Well, we all know it doesn't work that way. You have to put in the hours and hours of practice. A good guitarist can make a cheap guitar sound really good. And it's no different with metal detecting. My philosophy is that if it beeps, dig it. Even an expensive metal detector cannot tell you what is in the ground. I can't tell you how many times I've watched seasoned veteran detectorists pull a diamond ring out of the ground and just say, you know, I almost didn't dig this because it sounded terrible. And yes, they were using very expensive metal detectors. Every time I have dug up a gold ring or a piece of gold jewelry, it sounded terrible. In fact, if you had asked me what I thought it was before I pulled it out of the ground, I probably would have told you it was another piece of aluminum foil. That stuff seems to be everywhere. But to keep it short and recap, an expensive metal detector is not going to tell you what is in the ground. And the numbers you see on the screen here can only tell you so much. My advice again is that if it beeps, dig it. You just never know what's gonna come out of the ground. If you're a beginner, save yourself some money. Get a reputable machine, but get an affordable machine. You'll thank me later. If you wanna see more of what I do and see some of the cool things that I find, click the subscribe button, check out one of these videos. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.